Hello everyone, this is my Volkswagen ID7 Pro, this is Hank and now I'm doing 110 km an hour range test. I'm charging full here and we're on the highway and then I will drive in one direction, turn around at some point, come back on the other side. We will drive in Eco and hopefully I get a bit more range that with the 130 km an hour range test video is here where I didn't achieve what I would have wanted. We'll see. I do just doing a charging test and the numbers look really good. Um, so I will tell you everything when we drive. The new charging window, by the way, doesn't do the five minute thing uh, anymore. So in my ID3, it always shows in five minute steps, even though it's only one minute away, it still says five minutes till it's done. Now it's very accurate. So it's 1037 and in 1043 it's done. So six minutes, what happened now? The time is away. What? Charging stopped? Why did charging stop? Uh, I put the charge limit on. Idiot. <laughs> I'm on my way, I'm driving 113 on the speedometer, which is 110 uh, GPS range, 320 kilometers. Um, like I said in my last video, I don't think the gasometer is amazing. It was better in my ID3. This shows more than it should. It doesn't adjust as well as I would like it. Um, yes, and I have the same heat settings as before, 23 degrees in auto, seat heater on two, but now I'm in eco mode, so the heat should do a bit less. I'm already at 94% after 20 kilometers. Um, average consumption is high as always, first 10 kilometers are uphill, so that's normal. Listening to music. Um, I will drive the same route just on the other highway. I will drive a bit further because it should go further. <laughs> yeah, I noticed I turned down this 30 minutes massage function down to 25 and the intensity and now it does it longer than a minute. And I don't know if it's this or this. We'll see at some point, but I like the massage and especially on my bum. I'm gonna do that. And it's unbelievable how many cars drive by in this foggy conditions. Either they don't have a light on at all or they have the auto lights and it means that they don't have real lights. And in this foggy, now it's even okay for the foggy situation. Here's the same. Uh, also no light in the rear and the auto function doesn't turn on. I, I mean, I turned it on by myself and those people drive without light in the fog. I don't get it. I mean, you have to get a license and you learn foggy and rain, you turn on the light. I don't know what, what's going on with people. I am at 75% and I drove 96 km. That would be a calculated range of 384, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, battery, by the way, already cooled down a bit. I can already do the start battery heating, but I'm not gonna do that. Um, I have changed my climate. I have put it out of auto and the airflow to the feet and to the uh, 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 window, so up. And it feels better because with auto I got a bit of cold air from this direction and this feels better. I even could put it down to 22 and a half degrees and my uh, fan is on two. I think this could be a lower consumption. Still in eco mode, 
Yeah, there's nothing else. Uh, uh, average consumption is 191. It's going down. It was around 194, I think, just with the, the turnaround that I just did. Uh, yes. And the range says 272 kilometers. I still think that's from the other drive because I should have... No, that's even a bit accurate right now. 384 totally and we drove 100. Yeah, it's still a bit, it's a bit too little now. <laughs> so it takes longer to adjust. The drive is amazing. Uh, it's not too busy, only a few trucks. I had to pass a few times and accelerate a few times because people are driving faster than me. Uh, that, that's okay, that's how it is. The, I, I don't own the road. Um, I'm going back to Dickendorf now. I turned around and then I will go in the direction of Munich and then we'll see at some point I will navigate back. So I have 40 kilometers of margin that I arrive with around 40 kilometers in around 15% or so. I'm at 50%, 193 kilometers driven, so 386 kilometers. The same as in the 130 test, where at 50% it was a bit more. So I'm guessing in the end it will be also two kilometers more, so 386 or so. <laughs> um, still driving my 130, still foggy, still people driving with no lights or with their auto highlights heights I even have the the rear fog lights on just to you know safety so someone can see me because on some parts it's really hard to see um, consumption is still uh, that number 192 very very uh, um, it stays stays that way and right now my gasometer is better it shows 189 kilometer at 50 percent when i drove 194 it's better than before but this is better at 130 was just wrong i know where i'm gonna drive because i'm guessing i will drive around 340 kilometers and exactly the exit before the before the construction zone where it's 90 before that i go off and then on the way back it should be 334 kilometers or so driven when the car can do 380 that's fine so we'll arrive with 18 percent something like this um, i'm just guessing i don't know <laughs> I turned around and I'm on my way back. I have 152 kilometers of range and I have 100 kilometers to go. So 52 kilometers of margin, that should be fine. And uh, I prefer coming back to the charger uh, with a higher state of charge than going now 90 for 20 kilometers or so, which is then the totally wrong number. Uh, consumption will go down a bit on the way back that's normal and then of course like I said on the last 10 kilometers because it's downhill uh, battery is now cold I could preheat for 27 minutes we already established that it does it with 5 to 6 kilowatt um, and I could have 113 kilowatt at 39% <laughs> And Android Auto, if you haven't seen it, takes the whole space. Uh, and of course you can go somewhere different. And the navigation of Android Auto is in here, but only as that in 55 kilometers I have to go right. That's it. 
the same as in old models, but just not in the cockpit, it's in the head-up display. I arrived with 11%, drove 348 kilometers, and average consumption, uh, well, well, like this, 191 watt hours per, per kilometer, 108 kilometers an hour was my average speed. Now let's charge a bit. I use my Mangao electromobility card. With the Mangao Autostrom charging service, you can charge at 500,000 public charges. If you're interested in more details, check out the link in the description below. Yeah, that was a good test. Amazing driving condition, traffic was amazing. I could keep the speed all the time. It looks gigantic when it stands like this. According to Google, I drove 346 kilometers. And if I calculate the full range, that would be 388 kilometers at that speed. At these temperatures, I think the minimum was minus two and maximum was plus two, something like this. And with those winter tires, the heat, I think, is a bit less. Need, maybe it was a bit warmer, but it needs a bit less power if I don't have it in auto. I was always right! <laughs> in Volta, I always had it in, never in auto, but it, because I didn't like blowing in my face. But that's it for me tonight. I see you next time around. There will be more videos. Have a great day and take care. Bye!